Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, let's say you've got an important date that you're tracking in Salesforce and you want to run a report that includes that date and maybe tells you how many days it's been in between that date and another date. So let me show you how you do that in a report. Go ahead and create a report with any report type you want for whatever object you're reporting on. The real magic here, though, is to create a row level formula. So create the formula, give it whatever name you want so it makes sense based on whatever dates you're comparing. And it's going to be a number. You're going to throw out a number at the end. And now you're going to find your two dates. So I'm going to find my one date field that I care about and I'm gonna subtract the other date field from it. So for example, uh, how long did it take us to get a meeting uh, from the day the lead was created? Now you go to validate that formula and you'll notice you get an error. And that's because one of the date fields isn't just a date field, it's a date time field. It tracks the time as well. So we can use this function called a date value and that just gives us just the date for that field. And now you see the formula works. And when we apply the formula to our report, we now have a new column that tells us how many days between those two fields. And that's great. This will work great for this one report. And if you're only going to do it every now and then, this is a great solution. But if you're going to want that field for many, many, many reports, well, then you might want to create a formula field on that object itself. So in my case, I'm demoing off of the leads object. You go to whatever object you care about, and I'm creating a new formula field. And give it a name. Again, uh, it's just a number field. And this is really replicating pretty much exactly what we did in the report. I'm going to go find the fields I care about for this formula. And I'm going to insert them in there. And then I'm going to subtract the other field. Now you could type in those functions if you remember them, or there's this little menu on the right where you can click on them and they'll be inserted into your formula. But I'm basically just recreating that exact same one that we had on the report. Check your syntax, make sure it's good, and uh, then just go through the rest of the setup wizard and finish creating the field. And when you're done, you now have that formula on your record itself. And this could be used on any list view or any report. So it's your call. You can create a single formula in that one report when you need that date, or you can create an actual formula field that lives on the object and you could use it anytime, anywhere. Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe.